So, kido kidogo nana mechukua kisu na meka kwa bed. So, I'm like, what? This is the end of me. How am I going to take myself out of this situation? Like, nitafanya aze na uyu jamata yari ametua kisu. I can't do anything. Like, literally, ameamua kama na muacha tunakufa wote. Guy, I remember that time I cried. Guys, I literally cried. Ile serious ni kajuliza sanda fanya nini. video kama kei kama kawa. If you are new here by the way, karibu sana. Thank you for clicking onto this video and can you join the family by clicking on the subscription button down below. I mean just somewhere here guys. Subscription is absolutely free of charge and it takes just one minute of your time. So guys kindly subscribe and uh, don't forget to put your notification bell on so that you get notified in time of upload a video. So guys today I assume you have already read the title but now I'm going to talk about I mean um being in a toxic relationship i'm going to share my own experience as in like what i went through being in a toxic relationship and how i was able to walk out of that relationship so when talking about i mean being in a, an abusive relationship it must not be necessarily like being physical it can either be, be mental or emotional so my own story is going to be about being emotionally and, and mentally abused okay so um this is how my story was so um <laughs> i don't know exactly where to start from guys because actually well, guys there's nothing worse than being with someone manipulative person i mean it's so bad it's so difficult to deal with and um yeah so i'm going to share my own experience and i hope you get encouraged uh, so if you're finding it difficult to walk out of a relationship that's like i mean um stressing you or rather making you feel like worthless then this video is for you okay guys so um there is this guy <laughs> okay i won't mention names to protect that person so i remember um i met this guy like how many years back close to so many years back like i was fresh from high school so like and, and I, when, when i was in high school uh, i was that kind of a person when yes but to my boyfriends i was not a boyfriend type of person like sick one i'm to my boyfriends and so um i immediately i cleared like my high school i met this guy and guys it was love at first sight so he was a little bit older than me like um close to eight years older than me and i don't know actually what attracted me to him as in it was just love at first sight to live for liana to evil as in yeah nilimpenda too by the way and most of the people who are around me at that time were like every time they will see me with this guy they will be like okay linda and i'm like the heart wants what it wants so like I can't even explain so I was just stupidly in love with this guy because he was actually my first um, my first love kind of so we pushed for um, for some time we got to know each other and all that um, he introduced me to his parents but I never introduced him to mine because guys in uh, I don't know if it's only in our custom or what but Sisi kwa kijaluo kwa tunasema It's not right like to be introducing multiple men To your parents if you're not sure this person is going to marry you or rather if you're not sure of this person So it's not like I was not sure about this person by the way because I loved him from the bottom of my heart I just loved him for free as in evil to shape and atum to bure Yeah, that's exactly how I felt for this guy. So um I don't know why I don't know how it happened, but 
it was just like that but once in a while because tulikuwa tumejulikana deep kwa hood like we used to we used to walk together hakuna kila mtu alijua tuko pamoja except my parents so um but kuna time nilishuku dada alijua maybe kuambiwa ama kitu kayo but like formally introducing him to my parents no so um i went to these guys who i used to go like guys I was crazy for this guy. I used to travel all the way from Nakuru. Our home is in Nakuru. All the way to Homa Bay. There are Kindu Bay. It's very far. I used to travel all the way just to see his people without my parents' consent. Guys, that's how crazy love can make you behave. <laughs> so I used to travel all the way like um, to see this guy. His family loved me. They accepted me and all that. Like, nilikuja nikajulikana kwao. Like, but then guys um when i get to know the true characters of someone the moment you be you get closer to them so i remember this guy um the moment the day we met by the guys remember i had just cleared my high school and he was in college so we used to sneak as it look out not to be a talk who sneak sneak ikifika jioni nilikuwa na hepa home akitoka like shule tunapata na place flani as in it was just stupid like, i don't know how to call it but to me as in size ndio na tuli kwa ujinga but that time it was everything to me so um after some time guys i joined campus i moved to nairobi and uh, by god's grace things were going on well with me nilikuwa mtu wa kind of a kismat nilikuwa napata tutu opportunities to job job nini stuff ka hizo and i started hustling very young immediately i cleared my high school when i was in college i started hustling and all that so it is at that time that um at that time this my boyfriend hakuwa na job so after memaliza shule akaenda kwao like ushago to stay there and me at that time i was in nairobi just hustling and tarini nilikuwa nimeshapata kwangu as in nilikuwa tu nimeanza tu ku i was independent at that time so nikasema as a caring girlfriend that i was guys nikasema wacha nichukue boyfriend nimwambie akuje tukae na yeye a hustle and then things will get better as in that mentality of starting with someone from scratch yeah that's exactly how i was in that time like nilikuwa nimesema tu mimi i love this guy evil too whether ananipea nini ama nini mimi nimempenda and it's fine all even that i remember the time i invited him to come to stay with me at my place at that time people are like linda uko serious you know it's not good to invite your amant to your house like see this zuri kuita mwanaume akaina wewe it's supposed to be the other way around and i was like mind your business this is my life and it's my choice so msingilie <laughs> guys i was that stupid so akakuja tukakakana yeye for like the first three months wa okay as in kulikuwa tulikuwa tu sawa but then after some time nikakuja kuona hapana this is not the person i knew in the first place like he was just there yani i called you to come si eti ndio kwe bibi kwa nyumba sorry to say so but set ndio kuji ukae kwa nyumba but i i called you so that you can be you can try and find something to do kwa sababu you are learning you see so this guy he was just naturally lazy let me just say it he was naturally lazy like i used to wake up very early in the morning go hustle and he's just there ataki ata ku make efforts and even if he makes efforts apate job anaribu so it was not something good guys um he had started draining me like mentally and everything nilikuwa tu na feel ni kama hapana this guy is using me because i mean you are here you're supposed to be helping me i'm supposed to be doing this you're doing that and you're just there like you're just there there you're not doing even anything to help your life and i was like ai hapana this is getting out of hand so um i started asking my friends like what i should do to tell him to go unaelewa as in kwambia mtu aende because like mimi naona ni kama ana take advantage ako tu hapa naona everything is being catered for rent italipwa food atakula like everything is just sorted and he's just there so he has nothing to worry about so i'm left with all the burden to worry about like literally everything from kila kitu food rent everything mimi ndo nilikuwa na worry okay at first i didn't actually siku siku mind 
because nilijua atafata job and things will get better and something like that but at some time nikaanza kuona hapana huyu ni kama ako nania so um masiku zikaenda enda miezi zikaenda enda ai nikaanza kuona he's trying like to torture me mentally not okay he has he had never been physical like kunichapa and all that but he was just so manipulative so selfish alafu alikuwa na like i don't know exactly how to put it but he was kind of a narcissist yeah he was kind of a narcissist like alikuwa tu anani anafanya vitu weird ni zikuwa zinanifanya i i used to lose myself guys i started dating this guy when i was only 20 and remember he was 8 years older than me so you can see the age different i was still new to these things like sami liko nani kama i this is too much for me i mean i used to cry every day every day nilikuwa hata siko natamani kwenda home i used to cry i used to suffer in silence i used to cover for this guys i used to cover for this guy Like whenever my friends could visit ningemsifia niseme vile yeye ndio anafanya kila kitu yeye ndio amenitake and all that and it was the total opposite just because of love nilipenda huyu jamaa so ta unajua saa ukishaambia watu vitu i mean if you tell your friends something that's what they believe so mimi nilikuwa nimepaint huyu jamaa as the perfect guy like to my friends so when i needed to um i mean when i needed help maybe someone to advise me nilishindwa ntarudi aje because there's already how they already understood my story like kuna tu vile walikuwa wameichukulia hiyo story so tuna singeenda niwaambie at huyu jamaa kwa hivi na hivi imeti iko tena ati ni mimi ndio anafanya kila kitu hapana so nikasema gosh how am, I, how am i going to take myself out of this situation so what i what i did <laughs> I brought my sisters to stay with me. Like nitakatoa kuje ndio jamaa aone sasa tumekuwa wengi. He has to find something to go somewhere to go. So mimi nikaleta masizu wangu. Tukakaa hapo niko ni jamaa taki kuenda. So I used to like tell him all the time like mimi nimechoka na relationship sijui nini I'll walk out sijui nini nini. And then he was like mimi ukienda tukiachana na kuua. He immediately nikajua that's a red flag i mean alafu ikakuwa frequent ikakuwa tu any time to a argument ananiambia hivyo nikaona hapana this guy ukiona mtu nasema kitu ana hata kama hataifanya sasa hizo that person is definitely planning to do that thing will he will definitely do it to you so eh nikasema hapana hii threat imekuwa too much so i remember there was a time guys tulikosa sana like vibaya kwa nyumba alafu guys sisi kukosa na tu ilikuwa ile tunagombana hadi majirani wanasikia unaona tu watu wanachungulia kwa dirisha and it was so embarrassing honestly so there was a time tulikuwa tunagombana sisi tulikuwa tunagombania nini there's something that happened this normal um gombana ya couples so akakuja akaingia ndani na akafunga mlango na kifuli na ndani and i was like what's going on bono unafunga mlango na ndani and remember guys we are arguing na anafunga mlango na ndani akachukua keki kwa mfuko wa guys hapo ndo nikajua hapa this guy has a plan so kido kidogo na amechukua kisu na ameka kwa bed so i'm like what this is the end of me how am i going to take myself out of this situation like nitafanya aje na huyu jamaa tayari ametoa kisu I can't do anything like literally ameamua kama namuacha tunakufa wote guy I remember that time I cried guys I literally cried ile serious nikajiuliza sasa ndafanya nini luckily someone came and knocked the door and I escaped guys hapo tu ndio nilibahatika mimi that could have been the end of me that time so after huyo huyo mse kunok akajifanya huyo chali yani he was so manipulative guys that's why i'm using the word he was a narcissist and he used to get away with so many things just by words so alikuwa na ana kuna tu vile alikuwa ananiongelesha na jikuta tu nimeingia box nimerudi nimesahau kila kitu and life goes back to normal so hiyo siku akaniongelesha akaniambia sijui ni nini my sweet nothing and nikaingia box then and nikasema okay let me try and give him another chance maybe he'll change Eh, but nikaona tena time ikaenda enda nikaona too this is who he is aka change he started being a drunkard guys remember the whole of this time anaka kwangu guys ameharibu kazi zote amepata ametafutiwa ame as in he was just on my neck alikuja tu aka change he was not the guy i met at first so 
akaanza kulewa ana kazeki ni kubet as in it was just so much for me so i mean kasema hapa i have to find a way to move out i mean to just end this relationship because this guy is just amekuwa too much guys i didn't nilikuwa nimezeeka i was only 20 but nilikuwa na come to a 30 something because of the situation of which i was in nilikuwa so stressed like nilikuwa nimejiachilia hadi watu walikuwa na shangani nini baya na mimi but linda ni nani i just kept saying i'm in love it's my life wachana na mimi stuff ka hizo and honestly i was just dying inside i was just sick mentally like emotionally everything was just very wrong for me at that time so um i remember i used to ask my friends like ndafanya aje ni achini na uyu mse ama ni mwache kila kitu niende nianze ya fresh what exactly do i do but then nakuja nasema hapana nili struggle sana kuba hizi vitu like from scratch moja 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 misi hizi mwache ya tu hivo so ikabidi ntafte njia ingine so nikasema i just start an argument and then ni ni make ikwe kubwa like ikwe kubwa kabisa ndo tuachane so iyo siku ni kafika home i remember see i had brought my sisters to stay with me so iyo siku na kumbuka my sister i don't know what she was doing something in the house and then tukaanza tu argument na uchali as usual kido kidogo akaanza ku misbehave like he took akabeba meza he wanted to throw it at my sister and that's when hell broke loose that's when like tulisema kama mbaya mbaya guys it was embarrassing we literally embarrassed ourselves kwa plot like tulikuwa tunarushia na maneno nini nini as in it was so bad and that's when i just as in hapo ndo tuliachana alitoka na akaenda i told him to carry whatever he came with akabeba na kaenda na that was the end of it like me nilisema but then i was just tired hata kama nilikuwa nampenda ilifika hiyo time nikasema no enough is enough i can't do it this anymore by the way ukiona them them hupenda for real but ikifika time yenyewe unaona nasema hivyo like if it's over it's over like for good you know so like ilisha hivyo at least hapo nikatoa kidogo kwa hiyo ngori yake tukaachana na ye for some time for um, um two weeks akaanza kupiga ni nini anakuja ana he started kneeling down begging we get back together that, like, that he's sorry that he regrets his actions sijuni ni nini and i was like no enough is enough guys nilikuwa nimechoka and yani ilikuwa imeisha nikakataa so niko na huyu jamaa what i'll do is to move out of this place ndio ju hata naweza nifanya kitu mbaya so that's when i decided to move out of this, that place and move to another place and um i must say it was not easy guys it was not easy so uh somehow i managed to move out i mean to get myself out of that relationship and uh since then um at least i got better and by the way guys don't be in a toxic relationship don't be in an abusive relationship no matter how as in si lazima upigwe ndio juu yona in an abusive relationship there's just some way these people as in kuna mbinu yenye hao hutumia kukumeku feel like you are less of a person to have low self esteem on yourself of which it's very unfair you know so always find a way of getting yourself out of those kind of situations i mean um know your worth know your value love yourself whenever you see any kind of i, I mean any kind of sign just walk out save yourself before you lose yourself no matter how hard it is just try it's not easy you might even decide to die there just because of love just because um maybe you think you cannot live without this person me kama mimi hata saa hizi kuna mabishi wenye huu ni uliza linda ulifanyaje ukaachana na huyo chadi because they know how we loved each other they know how much i love that guy but nilitoka so huo wananiuliza ulifanyaje and i always tell them ukishaamua ni hivyo yes it will hurt but then you have to you have to mind about yourself what happens what if you lose your life in the process what if you lose yourself in the process what becomes of you so guys um 
that's basically my story and uh, I thank God because niliweza kujitoa hapo na pia ningewaomba hii story ya kamuiste guys I don't want to be judgmental I know it didn't work for me it might be working for you but then it is not good because this person will expect you to do so many things like at expect to kuweka my wife like at expect to fanya vitu zote zenye wife anafaa kufanyia hazi and um atakuluzia respect as in there are just so many things that comes with this kamuiste kind of thing and that's why I don't support it since that time mean lidi tuna masikio hivi nilisema i can never siwezi kaa tena kamuiste na mtu wa wenyewe unless otherwise so take care guys relationships are can be very bad at times they can turn to i mean something else so just take care of yourself read the signs and save yourself if you can save yourself now kama unaweza sawa si i hope um this of this my story encourages you i hope you get to know how to i mean save yourself and uh yeah that's basically it guys um i'm actually talking this with so much ease because nilisha heal like says nine after some things happen hapo ndo unakuja ngo unajua kumbe you are actually stronger than how you thought yani sasa hizi ndo nasemanga hey kama niliweza kupita hizo vitu zote nika survive i'm a strong person and so are you so Yeah, that's basically it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like Peach Candy, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, 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 subscribe. See you on the next video. Bye!